making that, putting a little bit of a point on the end. Yeah, square nail, very good. You get the sharp. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, you'll notice as I'm working the metal too, there are these little <coughs> shavings here on the uh, anvil. Uh, what happens is as metal goes in, chemical process happens, the metal oxidizes, and I'll lose 1 to 2 percent of the actual metal, and the shavings popping off each time. So ideally a blacksmith wants to uh, work or heat the metal as few times as possible and be able to you know, change the shape so you don't lose as much of the metal. If you get the metal too hot, which hopefully I won't do, but if you get it too hot, you can actually burn it, which is kind of unusual. You know, it's something people don't think about burning rocks or about burning metal, but you can actually burn the metal. If I was to pull it out and it looks like a sparkler, like on the 4th of July, I'd be burning the metal. Does that weaken it? Here's, uh, yes, and it'll actually burn it up so it's not even there. This piece here was a heart trivet somebody was working on a few months ago, mm -hmm. and they burned it right in half. So it got a little too hot while they were working on it. Did you say where the coal came from that they used? Um, it, a lot of the coal was coming from back east originally, and a lot of it still does. We do have some on the west coast. I think Utah has some coal mines and a few other spots. There was a coal <laughs> source um, about, oh, about an hour's drive by car now, away from here in Cajon Pass, but it was a uh, low, low quality coal. So they tried mining it for um, use, but it didn't really pan out. <laughs>